stay-at-home servers. The debate is raging, and today it's going to rage hard. With me is Josh Barnhill, computer journalist and IT expert, and Tom O'Connor, family therapist and author of the book, Mommy, Why Is There a Server in the House? Josh Barnhill, your thoughts. You can't domesticate a server. Can I ask, Josh, do you have a family? Yes, I live with my mother. Uh, imagine being able to share files with your mother, to be able to uh, share music, no. photos. Josh Barnhill, any response? I don't want to share files with my mother. She's already in all my stuff all the time. I, I tell her, Mom, don't make my bed. If I wanted my bed made, I would build a sweet robot to do it. But with a stay-at-home server, you could share the files you want to share and keep your private files private. I've got some files I'd like to keep private. You can also back up your files automatically and access them from other computers outside the house. Yes, that's so easy for you to say, sitting there in your turtleneck sweater, your wrinkle-free pants, and your boots. But let me tell you something. In the real world, not everyone is a tech expert. If you know how to use a computer, you can use a stay-at-home server. Just open the book and read some. It would be my pleasure. Everyone gets a cup, by the way. Some servers don't go in offices. They go in houses, maybe in your house. How does it get there? When a mommy and a daddy love each other very much, the daddy wants to give mommy a special gift. So he buys a stay-at-home server. That's a good book. I didn't think it was going to be that good. Stay-at-home servers. America's talking.